Hi, Josh Smith here. I just finished a master class at ICMP. This class was great, man. I really enjoyed it. I, I really love doing these things and getting to <laughs> impart some of what I've learned of a lifetime of doing this stuff, you know? Uh, the people. I have so many friends here that I've made over the years. I've been coming to the UK for 20 years, but last year was the first time I'd been here doing my thing under my name and having the, the audiences be so receptive and the crowds be so good was just really, really uplifting. And I think this year's tour will be even better. And uh, it's just nice to see so many of the friends I've made over the years as my sideman work and people I know who live here working musicians and finally get to be here doing my stuff. When I first got up on stage at 12 and played, uh, I was a little short kid and the audience went crazy and it was because I was a kid, you know, but it didn't matter. I was completely hooked from the first moment someone applauded for anything I did and there was no going back after that. But yeah, the reaction was, you know, a lot of excitement because I was this little short kid with a guitar way bigger than me. The best advice I could have given my younger self would have been to quickly from that young age, start listening to more music than just the stuff that you like. Um, now I was lucky, I liked jazz and blues and rock and roll and soul and R&B, but I would have been telling that kid, listen to more pop music, listen to world music, listen to African music, listen to Latin music, and just you know start listening more open-mindedly. It took me a little bit longer to, to really, really enjoy and love kind of all music. You know? Well, I've consciously tried to find my own voice. That's always been number one. So as a kid, I was obsessed with Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimi Hendrix. So if you would have seen me at 13, 14, you would know in this song I'm being Albert King, in this song I'm being Stevie Ray Vaughan, in this song I'm being Otis Rush, blah, blah, blah. And I quickly realized that was not the way to do this for a living and to really make your mark. And I kind of became obsessed with finding this personal voice. Um, as far as what separates me now from the other blues people of my generation, I like to think possibly it's the hard work that I put in. I know that I'm probably the only one staying up in my room after a gig on the road, shedding moments notice. I know none of my friends are doing that or listening to this or learning that. I'm pushing myself every minute and you know, it doesn't necessarily involve the blues, but everything I do and learn and I push myself comes back to my blues playing and my blues roots because that's where I live. So I, I hope that's what separates me is I know how much work I'm putting in. Number one, have your guitars in good shape. Get your intonation squared away. Don't have fret buzz. Get your guitars set up properly or learn to do it yourself. I learned long ago when to adjust my truss rod, what I need to do, how to intonate a telly, how to intonate a strat. Keep on top of your amps. Keep your tubes in order. Don't forget your speakers. Everybody thinks about speakers last. It's like the, the biggest afterthought in the world is what speaker do you use? Yet it's the last link. It's the, the last thing that makes the sound that everybody hears. So think about your speakers. And then be a good dude. Be responsible. Be on time. Be the guy that people want to be around. Just because you're a great musician is not enough. If you're a great musician that people don't like, you're not going to be on the gig. So be a guy that everyone wants to be around and who does his job in a responsible way. I was fortunate enough as a kid to get to play with B.B. King a couple of times, open up for him on his tour in Florida. I was pretty well known at the time, so when he would come to tour up and down the state, uh, the booking guy would put me on as the opening act for a few years in a row. So I spent like a week with him a couple years in a row. And I took more away from those weeks than I ever will from anything ever. And it wasn't music, it was how incredibly warm and giving he was of his time to everyone, and how professional he was, and how 
much I could tell he still loved doing what he was doing and how important it was to him. Uh, that was an enormous lesson probably that has guided me the most through my entire career was just be a good guy, you know, and let it's okay to let people know how much you love this and, and, and you know, welcome them in, you know, just be, be a decent person.